Okay, so I was saying the more you research the Harlem Renaissance and you look up all of the short stories, long stories, the more you realize the nuance that um, Wallace Thurman was speaking of. And, and this story, Cordelia the Crude, is, ex is especially one that is this way. Um, I want to talk about what you call the Dicty Gentleman in that time frame and touch on what I think they were trying to imply in this story. At the end of the story, when the four girls standing in the hallway waiting for Cordelia says, who's the Dicty kid? And she says, that's the man that gave me my first two dollars. It seems like Cordelia was implying that men were nothing more than objects to pay her way for things. I looked up the definition of dicty and it was a slang for that time to me. It was an adjective that means ostentatious, stylish, pretentious. Which gives leeway to the fact that clearly Wallace Thurman cared about his appearance. Assuming he's the guy in the story, which I can believe that he is. Whether this is Cordelia Jones, because I can't find a photo of her, who knows. But you're dealing with this lost girl, this 16-year-old that's downtrodden, that's hurt, that the man that she loved back home, his mother, didn't want her as a future daughter-in-law. But the more you read this story and you have to go look up the story yourself because I had put the link to it when I did a reading of it because all that video was only the reading. The more I read into the Harlem Renaissance, the more I'm starting to see the modern day woman as something that was emerging into something scary. Because Cordelia seemed to have no problem with the fact that she would much rather go and be in a dance hall full of men at 16 going on 17 probably by the time Wallace found her six months later. She had no problem showing off and getting drunk instead of being with the dicty gentleman, the well-dressed gentleman who took care of himself and cared enough about reputation. I felt that the way in which he wrote this story, he wrote it with compassion about the about being called a dicty gentleman. But he also saw every reason to confront the fact that a lot of young women are old enough to know better and do things to themselves. Particularly when he says in this first sentence, physically, if not mentally, Cordelia was a potential prostitute. Now, this is when he had first met her, meaning that although she had not yet realized the moral import of her wanton promiscuity, nor become mercenary, she had nevertheless become quite blasé and bountiful in the manner of bestowing sexual favors upon persuasive and likely young men. When you read this story, she clearly doesn't pick the right type of man. So, all right. If being dicty is a bad thing, I don't think it is. But I just found that term interesting. So let me know what you think in the uh, comments about the dicty or the words what we would now call corny black man. All right. Thanks. Bye.